Well, hello there, my loves, and welcome back to San Myshuno. We are back at Market Avenue today, making more changes into the interior with the wonderful Rivers family. Well, hello there, my darlings, and happy Friday, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. We're starting in this screen today, just because I've got a few things to explain and say. First off, you were expecting a challenge kind of video today. Um, I didn't get a chance, didn't get the time to be able to do one or edit it or anything. So what I decided on doing was just using my initiative and bringing another part of this out with the Rivers household. So what we'll do today is do the dining room and kitchen, but also make a start on the basement level. That's what we're going to be doing today. And I did say I would be streaming on Twitch this Sunday to announce this project that I've been working on. But sadly, we're not ready to announce said project just yet. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer until that happens. So I've got nothing else to say, nothing at all. It's Friday, get your tits in a bra and get in the car and let's get building. Okay loves, here we are back at Market Avenue. Now I've got a few comments from you guys here. I've got three comments to read through. Just some great ideas in the comments last time. So I'm just going to read them out now. So first off is from Kara. I love that the mum of this household can communicate with the recently passed. Maybe on of Agatha's children is really missing her and Alessandra could be like a source of comfort for them. I really like that idea. I think as both the dad and son are musically gifted, a basement with like some sort of music studio would be a good idea. We're definitely going to be doing that. And um, maybe they could have a studio and office for Francis in the basement and office room with the table and paranormal even in the attic somewhere where the mum gives private reading sessions for past loved ones. I really like that too, but I think what we're going to do is put that down in the basement as well. So I love those two ideas. And the next comment is from Jessica Purnell. And she says, can't believe how early I am today. Love this family. I like the idea of maybe the mum and daughter actually having a great relationship compared to the dad and son. I like that idea too. And maybe the daughter is starting to show signs of having a mother's gift. I really like that idea as well. Also, they need some kind of band music room. That's what we're, that's what we're going to do as well. The recording studio slash music room down in the basement as well. So I really love that idea. So you, we're all kind of on the same wavelength here. Love that idea idea jessica next one is from the lovely destiny by design i think they met during one of his live performances she fell in love with the rock star persona he promised her the world once he made it big they got married and had kids but never made it big so she couldn't she couldn't put her dream on the back burner any longer thus the show and seances and stuff she never resented him but she held him down while he pursued his dreams and now it's her turn love that idea for that little storyline so i reckon yeah that's a really cool way of how they met maybe at one of his live performances she really liked his music still likes his music to this day so i'm really i'm, I'm into that definitely so we've got nothing else to do i think the best thing to do now is to get into game and start building so this is what we're going to be furnishing today the dining room area here and also the kitchen area here but what i also want to do there was one of you guys that had this really great idea with getting in a bit more natural um, light down into the basement level. And I loved it. And I did actually test this out. Testicles. I did test it out and it worked. It worked really well. So this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do first. Just get a rough floor plan mapped downstairs in the actual basement level itself. So I'm going to flop you to there. We've got rid of one of them. They don't really need to, so it's fine. Uh, I'm going to get the grid on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to flop a square in. Am I doing... Nope, this one. There we go. If I flop one to there, and then... How wide do we need to go here? Oh, there we are. Okay, so five up to about there then. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. This is what we're going to do. This, my loves, is what we're going to do. We're going to flop in the eco lifestyle window into the back to flood this basement in with natural light. And how we do this is hold on to that, press that, remove that ceiling there. Oh, she's stunning. Then I'm going to bring this brick down to that level as well. Lovely. I am going to put a fence here because you don't want people falling down into the basement, do you really? It's not a good look. And we're not vibing with it. One of you guys um also said... How did he release a song in the 80s if he's only in his early 40s? Well, who's to say that he's not 
um, any odour than that. Maybe I left a little Easter egg in there somewhere. Just saying. Just saying. Yes, yeah, see? Lore, darlings. Lore. So we've got this like level down here now that floods this room with some natural light. I'm seeing this room being the kind of like um, seance room. Do you know what I mean? Where Alessandra like has private readings for people, that kind of good stuff. I really, really liked that idea. And then what we're going to do is what I did was put a corridor here like this. It's kind of like a two wide corridor. This is going to be the music room here. This is going to be the music room here slash recording studio. I think we'll do that kind of vibe there. No windows because I'm going to absolutely acoustic foam the shit out of those walls so the music doesn't get anywhere. And this is obviously going to be uh, Ezra's bedroom with a nice with his own bathroom down at the bottom as well. So I just think that floor plan is quite nice. Do you know what I mean? Like come down the stairs here. They've got like a nice like wide corridor on this bit here. But because they've extended the house out, we were able to put a bit more of a bigger room in here, which will be the kind of seance -y room, which I loved. Loved that storyline. Absolutely for it. Yes. So we've got a nice floor plan going for the basement. We'll start on the basement next week. Today, as I said, what we're going to do is concentrate on the dining room and kitchen. So that's what we're going to do now. Yes, we are indeed. I think the first thing I need to do is find some dining chairs to go with this lovely dining table. And I would love a dining room light as well. Maybe an, oh, maybe a pendulous one. Let's see. So I'm thinking these chairs here. I tried out a few. I tried out a few, but this one here just matched in well with the sofas to me because they're from the same pack, the Dream Home Decorator. So we're going to put these in. Again, keeping it contemporary and fresh. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes, we are. Let me have a little look at you, my love. Oh, yes, I do like that definitely needs some kind of light there <gasps> i'm thinking because i did try this light as well in the living room but it was too much it was too low it was covering the tv but i really wanted to use it and it's the moschino um hangy lights but i think this would work above the dining table quite nicely let me have a little look sorry i hiccup burped then i do excuse, do excuse myself do excuse me if i can put you actually in the middle of the table Oh, I do like that. And you can see I've pulled up this painting here. I did want a dramatic bit of art up on this wall, but I think I'm going to have to move those. Yeah, I'm going to have to move some of the wainscoting. I don't mind that because that's going to make it a bit of a feature wall then, especially if I put this up. Oh, yes. Have I got my quartile placement on? Oh, I didn't. How dare I? How dare I indeed? You need to come down one more. That's a bit of a moment there. I do like that. Yes, indeed. Because I've done these, though, it's almost making me want to use these instead and maybe put a little bit of a mirror moment up here. Rather, oh, that's going to go through to the top, isn't it? Oh, you little shitty tit. What about this one? No, that's too small. Damn! I can move them down with a tool mod. It's fine. So I do one, two there and a one, two there and a three, four, five. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, I am going to move them down with a tool mod, though. Are they creeping upstairs? They are. We'll definitely have to move them down. So let me quickly do that. There we go. Fit in there a dream, loves. That was a 0 0.05, I think. Something like that. Something like that, indeed. Something. Something like that, darlings. <laughs> Something like that, indeed. I think they need some kind of storage in here. I do feel they need some kind of storage here. Like on this wall here is kind of screaming out for something. So I'll definitely find something to put there. And I think a rug. And we need to bring in more greenery into this room. I'm going to get rid of these spotlights though. So we can get a bit more of a moody vibe. Oh yes. Yes. So I do want a rug. We do need some greenery. I'm going to look for some storage. And then I'll come back and we'll whap it around together. Okay. I can bear in gorgeous things. I'm going to use this rug here that I sized up to 1.4. This is from the fitness stuff pack. Uh, I just like it. I like the plain kind of matte black vibe that's going on in here. So I don't want to take away anything too much with like whites and patterns and things. Uh, so and that was enough of a pattern where it wasn't too jarring to my eyes. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to flop this fig leaf, fiddle leaf, whatever it's called, uh, plant it over by this mirror here. This plant is going on top of the actual on tablet itself where can i flop you there you are yes 
And now I've had a thought over here. I'm going to hang this one up on the wall. Uh, I forget what pack that came with. I think it was Eco Lifestyle. I'm going to flop you up into the wall. Again, bringing more greenery into this level. But I said I wanted storage. And I thought these objects here would be great. Putting three of them just along underneath that actual area there. Makes it look like that could be like, I don't know, little drawers for bits and bobs in. And I'm absolutely here for that. Yes, this is cute. Again, I need to keep reiterating this, but we're going for minimalist vibes in here. So I'm not going to be over cluttering this house at all. I want the contemporary vibe to come through. Slap you in the face and say, look at me. I'm contemporary, darling. Nice to meet you. And I'm getting that vibe. I really am. Love this kitchen, the vibe, the view. <gasps> oh, I'm for it. Right. Okay. We need to work out a kitchen layout. What I'm thinking is having the kitchen on this wall, like the main counter moments and fridge and whatnot and, and bin. And then I think I'm going to have like an island, maybe in this position off to the side like this. Uh, and I might even try and put, up and put on a sink or something on them. Let me see what the grid's working with here. I could. I could. We'll see what happens. It might have to go a little bit further back here. And then have a lovely row of bar stools. So they've got this kind of like side front view of the kitchen. Where they can see over that side of the house. And also out that wonderful view. But first off, what I need to do is find a lovely kitchen. And it's going to have to be a black one. I think I know which kitchen I want to use. It's already in my head. We've used it outside. And it's the island living one. It just fits the vibe, you know? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so what we need to do. I'm thinking I'm going to start off with a corner piece here. Corner piece with a waterfall edge. Absolutely thriving with that. I'm going to do a little moment there. Oh, 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 you need to be on that please thank you i'm gonna do the oven there don't know what oven we're picking just yet i'm gonna flop you to there i'm gonna bring another one here and i'm gonna do the fridge there yeah i think that's gonna be the vibe and then what i'm gonna do is do a corner piece in there and then i'm gonna go into the island and see if we can get a good position with this island i was thinking here but i think it might be a bit of a struggle or just mm, yeah no let me see let me see, we're going to do a one and a two, like that. A little one and a two. And then I love the waterfall edges to this, oh, this kitchen um, set. It's gorgeous. I always struggle using this now because of the swatches. Like 95% of the things in The Sims 4, to be honest. Um, let me just see if this is going to work. So I don't know if this is going to be the right position just yet. But I don't want it too far away from the kitchen. Oh, I do like that there. It is kind of right by the door though, but they've got enough space here. But I was also thinking of pulling this back. But as soon as I pull this back, it kind of takes oh, it away from the kitchen. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of far away. And I wanted, I was thinking about putting a sink on here. We'll keep it where it is. We'll keep it where it is. And then it's like still in line with the sink itself. Oh, I've just remembered we're putting a bloody fridge there, aren't we? <sighs> right, let me pick the oven and the fridge this lighting is gorgeous but i think we need to calm it down a bit we just need to strip it back just so i can kind of see no i can't see fuck all now that was probably the best lighting <laughs> anyway oven again contemporary very minimal we don't need to do a lot so if that's the case if that's what i'm going to do i'm thinking i might get in this number here because i do love this one yes oh yes indeed that one fits this kitchen stunningly. Um, uh, is that a bit far away? No, it's not. It's not. I've seen kitchens with uh, thingies this far away. And I think I'll do. It's almost making me want to bring this wall across. And just have this island like maybe on against the wall. No. No, that's not right. Right. As I said... We, need to, we still need to pick a fridge anyway. So I'm going to pick a fridge and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to meander stuff off of camera just so I can kind of get a vibe and a feel uh, to where this layout's going to be. Because this won't work here because look, it's you're not going to be able to. It just doesn't make sense. So I do think we need to go back there, sadly. So what I had to do was just change the size of it. Change the size of it so it wasn't a four square one. And we've gone for a three square 
island here. I just think that's in a really good, perfect place for it. It's got enough room off to the side there. This is close enough to the oven and whatnot. I did have to move the induction hob, but what I'm going to do is put a sink on this bit here instead, rather than having the induction hob on it. I would have liked both of them, but you know, sometimes you've got to persevere and just go along with what happens in The Sims 4. You know? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to flop you in. You're just a little bit more um, contemporary than the industrial looking one. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. Okay, happy. Happy with how that looks. We need to find some bar stools. I've got bar stools in the back of my head. I'm just hoping that they're going to vibe well. And the ones that I was thinking was either these ones here, which I really like, or we've got these ones here, which again, mm, I'm not really feeling the curve in this room for some reason. But I was also thinking about maybe the spa day ones. Spa day! Or oh, even these ones would look nice in there. But I'm thinking, where's the spa day? There they are. Uh, it's between these three here. I mean, they're all so different. I don't know what one I'm going to vibe with. You'll find out what I pick in T minus two biscuits. We've gone for these ones from Dream Home Decorator. We've used a lot of Dream Home Decorator. But it's because of the black swatch. It works. The other swatches, I just can't really fit with anything else in the game. Um, but I do like that pack. I do. I did slate it in my review and I'm very sorry. I do like it. Also, you can maybe see what I've done. I've moved the hob back here because I wanted a dishwasher. The dishwasher wouldn't fit in here because it's too small. So I've put a dishwasher there right next to the sink. So I'm happy with that little like moment. There's, a, there's only a short little moment between them all uh, to cook and whatnot and entertain. So I'm happy with that. And we're going to continue onwards. Yes, we are. So what I'm thinking, I definitely need to get a bin in here. I'm going to use, oh, oh, you actually, oh, oh, you've got gold on it. No, I don't want that one. We'll use this one here. We use this one here in that corner there. Gorgeous. I don't know if I want cabinets. I reckon I could put just the plain. No, not you. I could put these cabinets with it. They don't match in perfectly. But I might do that. I might actually do it unless I just do it over this side. Like I just do cabinet there can we have an end piece or is that going to be i think that's going to be too big we'll try it anyway it's too big <laughs> Dumb. let me see or we should or should we just go straight along with these cabinets here we'll go one two three and what does the corner piece look like with this one i have no idea is it square please squeeze oh it's not square hmm i think think I want to do cabinet. Yeah, I do. I want to do cabinets in here. I'm going to put that end piece on there like that. And I think what I'm going to do is do one there like this. And then this one there like this. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> All right, Aiden. I'm very dramatic. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that will work well. Floods a nice bit of light into this kitchen as well. Definitely want some under kind of like cabinetry lighting. So I'm going to get those lights from the high school pack and put them underneath. These ones here. I love these little things. They they come in so handy. So I'm going to put some underneath of there. I'm going to have to put these all in manually and it's going to be a pain in the tits, but we're going to do it anyway. Right, that one there. Stunning. This one. Come on. Come on, work with me, Sheila. Sheila. Sheila, stop messing me around, Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila, stop it. Why, why is she called Sheila? No idea. Absolutely no idea. All right, that's going to do. And then you there as well. This is probably very boring to watch, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then another one in there. Another consonant, please, Carol. Up there, please. Come on, stop being a shit. Sheila! Oh, come on. There we go. Yes! Bye, pig the same under here. Maybe I could just do default there. Will that look weird? No, it looks fine. Another one there and another one there. Oh, I don't like it there. Are you at the right height? You're not. You're being very silly. I'm going to have to do it myself for goodness sake. Sheila, you're an embarrassment. You're an absolute embarrassment, Sheila. <laughs> Put someone out there called Sheila going, all right, Aiden. 
You don't even know me. <laughs> that one there's going to just have to have a little crisscross in. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, well. That's just going to have to do. You've got to work with your limitations sometimes. Yes. Little bro. Oh, God. That fridge is about six miles out from it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy with how that is looking. Very much. Don't really know what to do on this back wall here. I'm thinking again, more art kind of like pieces, but I might go a little bit more down the kind of like rocky vibe. And also this is going to be difficult to get any kind of lighting in. I think the only place we can actually put the lighting maybe is on that ceiling bit there. So it might be worth our while to do like a row of those little spotlights. Oh God, that's the sun. My redeners. Um, a row of spotlights and then just have it a bit more of a moodier lit vibe in the kitchen. I think that might be the one. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is go and find some art for this wall. I also want to pull out more plants for this room. I do want a bit more greenery, obviously, in this room. And some trinkety bits that we can put out that doesn't take away the minimalistic look that we're going for in here. So I've gave them a coffee machine. I definitely see this household being a bit more of a coffee drinker household maybe even blood um storylines loves there is a secret little squirrely storyline i won't lie to you what we're gonna do i've picked up this i looked through a lot of the artwork and it's all just a bit garish we say as we're putting up a gold and black um draft picture with um some mirrors but i just think this is gonna work um i know this is gonna work because i tried it and it looks stunning what we're going to do is flop these two next to each other. So we've got this like little bench moment going on here. And then what we're going to do is flop in a plant either side of it. Just like this. Let's get you in one more, my love. There we are. Stunning. We're going to flop up two of these. I'm going to go up to that height. These are the sconces from City Living. Flop one either side there. I like that indeed. We're going to put you... On this level here just on the little bar level there again just splashing in a bit of that greenery and the only object i'm going to use to decorate is just a little utensil holder again as i said i want this minimal there's a fine line between minimal and not enough what i also did as well is used the use these um spotlights as well just on that area where um that we've actually got a ceiling and it brings enough light into here, especially during the night. I really like the, the vibe in here at night. It's got like that soft, darker kind of vibe to it. <gasps> oh, yes. I'm very much for that. I'm very much for that indeed. Well, I, oh, the dining table's disappeared. How spooky. But um, I'm vibing. I'm absolutely loving how that's came together downstairs. I just think it's just enough. And it's exactly the style that I wanted this to be in as well. I just wanted it to be in that more um, contemporary, minimal style, but with that goth, dark aesthetic coming through. Um, and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. Oh, anyway, so have a wonderful weekend, you beauties. We'll come back with this next week. I think we're going to go down into the basement next week and start doing the basement area. Um, so if you remember Ezra's bedroom, the recording studio slash music room and the kind of seance sort of reading room that we're going to have. I uh, just think that would be a nice vibe. That would be a nice vibe indeed. Uh, we'll leave you on a nice shot. Why not? Here we go. Look. Oh, how stunning. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. Get some lovely comments down below. And as always, keep those ideas flowing because you guys, I love coming together as a community and um, getting these ideas out there. It really, really helps me in creating. And I just love making this a kind of we project rather than a just me project, you know, vibing with that. So yes, have a wonderful weekend, my sweets. And I'll see you all again on Tuesday. Goodbye.